is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are you guys doing today? Today we are here with Rob of the Knights of Horror and the Howling Hour. How are you doing, Rob? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing good, man. You know, I mean, you, today is another episode of Knights of Horror Fact or Fiction. Now, if you guys watched the pilot episode with me and Sammy, we filmed that back in Arizona back in November, beginning in November, uh, and we just released it the, uh, this past this last Friday. So, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. We're gonna do it. We're gonna be doing a lot of that with the Knights of Horror crew. I mean, we got a lot of people coming in. We might even bring in some some of our friends in the YouTube world to see if they can prove if these videos are indeed fact or fiction. Uh, the paranormal world is a very interesting world because it doesn't only consist of, of ghosts and, and entities. It consists of, like, UFOs, unexplainable creatures, <clears throat> you name it, stuff in that nature. It, it, it's, it's, the paranormal world goes everywhere. So, Rob, are you ready to test your, your – I don't know if it's knowledge. Is it knowledge? Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I feel like it would be <laughs> my intuition maybe. Uh, ready intuition? To, yeah, to, in yeah, test, uh, test my intuition. I – I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm gonna do my best and uh, and try and let the world know whether I think something is real, fact or fiction. Yeah, fact or fiction. So it's, we got four videos lined up for you today. Uh, last night I had sent you a text message to be like, "Hey, you know, I want you to be on the next episode of Night's Horror Fact or Fiction." Uh, you obviously agree to it, team player, like always. That's right. That's right. Um, we're doing back to back filming today with uh, Rob. Uh, I think Rob, me and Rob are gonna have an exclusive show dedicated. Uh, that we're bringing back because uh, we have a lot of, 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 of good things. But there's a little spoiler alert. Next week, uh, we're bringing back Horror Icon Mashup where we take some of the greatest horror icons and we put them in a fantasy match to see who would win. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that next week's matchup. Ghostface from Scream versus... Who was the ver who was the versus? I've already forgot. Oh, it was, uh, it was Jigsaw. Jigsaw. Saw. So that's gonna be an interesting matchup to see who wins. We have a lot of matchups planned in the future. And if you guys want to see anyone go up against each other, leave it in the comments below. But today is Night Support Factor Fiction. Rob, are you ready? I'm buckled in. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, the rules of the thing are simple. I'm not gonna tell you if they're fact or fiction to the very end of the video, but you have to determine between each video if you think they are fact or fiction. Only I know the answers to what is fact or fiction. Uh, Rob here does not know anything. He doesn't even know what videos we're watching to be to begin with. He's going in blind. Yep. Uh, is how I try to prepare everyone for this when they tell me like, should I prepare for anything? <laughs> nope. Just come in and hopefully you get the answers. That's pretty right. pretty much what um, was said. <laughs> so Rob, tell me about do you do you believe in aliens? Um, I as far as extraterrestrial. I I don't know. Like I'm willing to say, like I don't know. There could be some other life force or whatever out in the galaxy. The galaxy is so huge. We've yet to explore. Um, you know, we've only explored a fraction of it. So uh, I'm I have an open mind. I'll keep it like that. Well, here's here's our first video that was actually taken during a newscast on ABC Seven in Buffalo. Uh, this was apparently a UFO caught during a live newscast. As they're about to transition from news to what the weather's going to be like, um, you see something interesting fly up into the sky. It is not a shooting star because it's flying up, and it's pretty unexplainable. I don't know if it's an airplane. It's not an airplane. I know that for a fact because this thing zooms up in the air, but uh, I'll let you be the judge. So here's our first video. This one's uh, entitled UFO Caught Live on Camera During Newscast in Buffalo, and this is what we have to see. Now it is darkened outside. Temperatures are sitting at 61 in Buffalo. We have a northerly wind at 7. Good sleeping weather tonight, folks. Uh, you, what was that? Did anybody see that thing go past? Did we just see a shooting star on Skywatch? That was awesome. I'll flip. So I'm going to replay that. Okay. Um, and we'll get your thoughts right after. All but right. here it is again. Here it is again. All right, Rob. Okay. So what do you make of this, man? Because this, I mean, now that I'm watching it more, I mean, it kind of looks like a firework, but at the same time, I've never seen a firework take off like that. Here's the thing. Um, from my perspective, uh, from this footage, I think best guess here, um, it looks like, so, I'm not. I'm going to stay away from, from, I don't think it's extraterrestrial. I think it's maybe some type of drone. So I'm going to go with, uh, it looks like just the movement. 
I feel like I've seen drones do certain movements like that, and it does shoot up very quickly. So um, I'm gonna go with the drone. It definitely, from at least from my eye, that's what it looks like. So you're you're making this one as to fiction. Yes, yes, fiction. fiction. This is Rob fiction. Refuses to believe in aliens. <laughs> All right, video number one for Rob is fiction. All right, let's move on to video number two. Now, this was uh, an evil creature caught on tape. Oh, no. Um, no. Creatures usually are kind of – it's sometimes hit or miss with these, but I did a lot of research, as much research as I can with this video, read some comments, you know, read a lot of things of what people thought, uh, and the reactions from these people are very genuine. So let me set this up a little bit. Um, one night, these people hear something in their backyard, so they start filming – and what they find is truly terrifying. So this is uh, entitled Evil Creature Caught on Tape by Rick uh, Grebenick. Oh, man. Grebenick. I'm going to so have, I'm gonna have nightmares. The video. nightmares. So as you can see right here, the creature. This is the creature right here. Okay. You see that little okay. white figure. Okay. Um, okay. It looks like to me it's kind of standing on all fours like that creature that you saw at Halloween Horror Nights in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's what it's looking like to me. And eventually it walks and everything. But. Yeah, there it is standing up now, and it's walking on all fours. Oh. 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 So. Hmm. Okay. 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 Got someone making a phone call in the background, by the way, too. We'll probably call in to, probably call in to see what this thing see was. See what this thing was. Oh, my God. Mike, I need you. Hey, can I hear you? Can you hear me now? He's just got the now? camera propped up there. And... Yeah. All right, you're not going to believe this. I hmm. got it on video now. People think I'm nuts. I got it's on video. It's playing right now. I, huh? I, I put the iPad in the window, and now this thing's coming up to the steps in my, my backyard, Mike. Dude, that's creepy. Dude, that's creepy. It's like a weird demonic looking thing and it's like a human. So I'm gonna stop the video there. What are your thoughts on this video as well? Um, oh. Obviously, this is something that, like I said, if you went to Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood in 2019, that four-legged kind of creature in Spirits and Demons of the East, this is like a real adaptation of that. No stilts or anything. This is a legit like person walking on four, all four limbs. What do you make of this, Rob? Here's here. Wow, man, this is this is tough. See, this is this this is tough because I'm like I said, like I mean, you said before, I'm just seeing this. So my mind, so my mind automatically goes to something um, natural, but I do believe in the supernatural. So. But I'm going to say this is probably someone just messing around in the backyard. Um, I don't, you know, maybe they, they've got a costume on and they know this guy records because this guy looks like he's got a, like some kind of camera set up already. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say this is maybe some kids messing around with this guy. And, and uh, although I'm really close to saying that's some kind of entity or, or something, but I don't know. I feel like it's just it's too solid. And it's it's moving too um, I don't know too repetitively and kind of smoothly, and I feel like it, maybe if it was some kind of something supernatural or an entity, it would be more very vague or kind of light, and you would you know, kind of catch a glimpse of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is uh, I would say is it fiction? I mean not fiction. Uh, what would be the what would be the correct term here? Uh, fiction, a fact or fiction? I'm gonna say fact. This is You're fa gonna say fact. Yeah, I'm gonna say fact. So you think this is real? I think this is real. Yes, this is definitely real. All right. So now you got video one, fiction, video two, fact. All right. So the evil creature, Rob, thinks it is fact. Let's move on to our next video. Uh, and this one, okay, this one I've seen many times, and I still can't make anything of it until I finally saw a breakdown of this. Um, and I still can't make anything of it. So you let me know what you think. This is a ghost car. Uh, during a police chase, so this is real police footage. Okay. Um, and this was featured actually on a on a show, one of those shows where they they do like you know the kind of like kind of like a cops TV show. Okay. It's a compilation of, of stuff, but uh, you know this is a uh, real footage of a ghost car. All so right. So let's take a look at this. We've seen how strange things can get at night. Well, things are about to get a whole lot stranger. 
This mysterious driver tricks cops into thinking he's about to pull over, then all hell breaks loose. The officers watching this tape get only a quick glimpse of the man behind the wheel. It's the last look they'll get. For a moment, it appears as if the driver and his car had disappeared into thin air. But in the blink of an eye, the driver comes into view again. This time, he tries to outrun the police rather than just vanish. His moves are still baffling to the police as he swerves all over the road, driving like a man possessed. And just when he's really thrown the cops for a loop, he gets back on a straightaway, showing off a seemingly supernatural speed. In just a moment, he's going to make a turn into the twilight zone. Watch. A fence at the end means no way out, or does it? So, what the heck? We got this guy. Obviously, it's a police pursuit. Um, if you live in Los Angeles, you see a lot of these. Yeah. Probably a lot of the times of the year. I don't know where this 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 actually took place at, but I I don't know, man. What do you make of this, man? This 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 guy swerving around, putting the cops on chase, and doing some stuff that's very unexplainable that you don't see in a normal uh, police pursuit. So what do you what do you make of this? Um, this is this is very confusing video. Um. I I kind of am speechless with this one. This one's a little weird, but I'm gonna say this is this is fact. This is fact. This is real. This is a real video here. This really happened. Right. So you think this is real right here? Yes, I do. All right. Yeah. So I mean, I, I mean, I can't really explain this. Really, I mean, this is is really is a lot to deal with. I mean. You obviously, this guy's driving is not like something you see on a normal pursuit for right. one. Uh, his swerving and his speeding up and slowing down is something that, I mean, you see that a lot with pursuits, but the way he's doing it, you don't see that every mm -hmm. day. Uh, and then his disappearance through the fence. Uh, it's really unexplained. I think maybe he had some type of accomplice and uh, and maybe he there was a hole in the fence. See, I'm always, I'm always, I'm always going, I'm going to something that could possibly happen. Maybe he there was a hole in the fence. He drove through it, and his buddy ran across with the the rest of the fence, put it up, and then hid in some kind of burrow or something. So that, that that's a fat. If that that is true for some sorts, that's that's a fast hide because the cop was right behind him when that happened. Well, I mean, you know, this just fast people in the world, right? I mean, that's true. If you're running from the police, you <laughs> typically run a little quicker. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Um, all right, so you think this is actually indeed fact. Yes, all right, I do. Let's, yes, I do. Let's move on to our final video of the night. So this one is another one that I've seen a few times, and I still can't make anything of it. Uh, this is a graveyard. Uh, this guy, his name is uh, – well, this is not the guy's name. This is a, This was just like this footage summed up. But okay. Basically, this guy goes to a haunted graveyard and encounters something that is super, super freaky. Like if me and you were to see this, we would probably turn the other way and – not spend another minute. Oh there. man! All right, so, let's let's do this. Let's do uh, this. Let, let's go to the grave haunted graveyard by uh, an old lady. So uh, let me let me skip to the footage where he starts seeing this. It, it gets really crazy here. Oh man. Uh, okay, so this is the first piece of footage right here. He's exploring the graveyard a little bit this guy is known for going on a lot of paranormal investigations okay by, by himself out of all things too well that's, that's um, the best best thing to do is go by yourself yeah so this is it gets creepy it gets really creepy i still don't know what to make of this video i really don't I guess the black and white kind of helped. Uh, if you look at the original video, it's actually in color. Okay. But this guy enhanced it with black and white. It actually looks a, a lot more easier to see stuff. So. 
Is it is it okay if I could record here? Oh, great. He's talking to it. I mean, we've learned in horror movies in the past that never helps. Yeah, yeah. come on. <laughs> you can let me know. Oh, jeez. He keeps talking to the entity, whatever this ghost is. I'll leave if you want me to. First off, dude, the guy's doing a paranormal <laughs> investigation, <laughs> middle of the night. Look at this. Okay, look at this right here, I think. But he's doing it in the middle of the night by himself. I, I don't know what to make of that, dude. I, I would not be able to do that. And he's talking to it. And he's talking to it. Yeah, that makes it even worse. But uh, let me skip ahead here. Okay. Let me find that where it actually gets very interesting. Maybe right here. Right there. What the? Holy crap. What the heck? There is a old lady sitting on a chair in the middle of the night at this graveyard. I see that. I see. I see, I see someone. Sit, well, maybe she's the maybe she's the keep groundskeeper or something. You don't know. I mean, the that's creepy. Huh? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. That's creepy. <laughs> so, that's his first encounter with her, uh, and I think they're gonna reiterate. Okay. But that's not the first time. That's not the last time he sees her, actually, at this graveyard. Okay. So. All right. All right. This guy's name's Franco TV. I like his little setup with his hat and his light there. It's uh, We're doing gr- Nights of Horror uh, ghost hunting now. Yeah, gorilla style right there. We got to get the uh, tactical shield vest yeah. and everything. And... Okay, so he's just talking about it. So let me let me skip ahead to the next time he encounters this lady. All right. I don't know how much time has passed by in, in real time. But um, this is the second time he encountered her, and he actually talked to her. What? Do you need help? Yeah. Not doing that. So, <laughs> so Franco returns to the to the the site afterwards. Let me see if he actually finds her again. I don't think he does, but okay, we got a little figure in black here. So let's let's check this right. out. Right. Oh, right there. Oh, right, right behind, there. Yeah. Yeah, right, right behind, behind him. him. Um, so this is the figure, and this is the same graveyard too. Okay. Um, he returned at by popular demand because a lot of people wanted to see if he'd go back and, and anything. But, um, Ooh. Rob, what do you make of this, man? Um, <clears throat> all right. So, so this looks legit. This looks like fact. I believe something was there with him whether that was an actual old crazy person well i'm not going to assume that she's crazy she could just been going for a nightly stroll whether that's a ghost or a physical person something was there with him so that that is fact you think this is fact i mean yeah man this this obviously whether this person or whatever this old lady was was a entity or an actual person like she might have actually been crazy going there yeah the yeah um she looked like she was kind of just staring off into the abyss, and she was in. She was inside the the, the tombs as well. Um, whether it was a a person or a, or a spirit, uh, it, it's safe to say that this video is very creepy in general. Oh yeah, um, oh, yeah. And not to mention when he returns to the thing, we we obviously have that black figure yes. walking behind him. Another very interesting thing. Um, so yeah, man. Uh, so you think this is fact? Yeah, man. that's fact. Um, that is fact. All right, so let's let's review real quick of what you got for your answers. You thought video one was fiction. You yes. thought video two was fact. Video three, three and four, you thought were both fact. So let's do a, a recount. Uh, let's go. Let's go back and <laughs> yeah, they're all wrong. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is our first video. Obviously, the UFO caught on uh, live camera. This, I did a ton of research on this, read some comments and everything. Uh, no one knows what this was. Okay. They, they couldn't prove it to be a drone. They couldn't prove it to be fireworks. They couldn't prove it to be anything else. This is actually uh, one of the 
not first, but one of the actual live footage uh, catchings of a UFO uh, caught on tape. So this is indeed real. Um, and like I said, I did all my research okay. on this. I actually I Googled this and, and tried to get some answers to this, watched a breakdown on it. Um, but, yeah, this uh, there's no way to really explain this. This is this is a genuine UFO sighting. All right. All right. So, so you're already uh, 0 for 1. Yeah, 0 for 1. The, you know, this, one. this video reminded me of, I remember I was at an event, and uh, I think they were doing some kind of missile testing, but we didn't know. And right. uh, they shot it in the air, and everyone was like, because it left this huge streak, and it looked crazy cool. And everyone was looking up. I was in a group of people, and we were all looking up and like, oh, wow. And then it just abruptly made this ridiculous maneuver in the sky and fear went throughout the crowd. Like we all, I literally thought I was going, I'm not even joking. I thought I was going to die because of how quickly and it moved. I never seen anything move like that. And I was like, oh, this has got to be some kind of UFO going to blow us up or something. That, so uh, I don't know. That just, it reminded me of that. All right. Um, video number two, the evil creature in the backyard. Uh, you said this was indeed real. Yes. Yes, it was real. Well, I can tell by the shadows. Uh, you actually guessed this one right. Uh, I looked yes. up. Yes. I looked up a lot of information based around this video. I looked up a lot of comments. I looked up a lot of uh, as much stories as I can find based around this. And turns out that this this person wasn't the only person that has cited this in this area. There's been many cases okay. of people reporting seeing this exact creature. And looking very demonic and stuff. So this, whatever this creature is, haunts this area, and it's made its name for whatever parts of the the world they are in. Uh, it, it's made its name around the town, and a lot of people have seen this. So does it have a name, like an actual name, or they just call it like the I creature? I couldn't find a name. A, a lot of what I've okay. been seeing is just evil creatures. So okay, um, that makes sense. I don't know, man. This is something that maybe if I came in contact with. Uh, Let's just hope I have a shotgun on me. Yeah, 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 definitely with the uh, the spray, not the not the slugs. Yep. You need spray for that with thing. The spray. Uh, so this one right here, ghost car video. Um, you thought this was indeed real. Um, yes. Turns out this one was has been debunked and it is actually oh. fake. Um, wow. Whether this was staged or not, I don't know. And if this was a real car chase or not. I have no idea. However, what gave it away and what was fake is uh, one of the breakdown videos I watch is if actually you pay attention closely towards the end of the video when you see the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, the gate that he right. goes in. Right. You can actually see the gate move. Um, whether it was lifted up or not, the gate actually moves. So, uh, yeah, the, I don't think the car went okay. through it, but I don't, I don't know how it got through it. But this actually has been proven to be uh, debunked. So this is a all right. Fake. So now you're you're one for two. One for two. Okay, it's all right. We got one we more. Got one more, man. At least leave uh, 50-50. So now our last one right here is, of course, the graveyard haunted by the old lady. Very creepy stuff. Uh, and you would agree with this. Uh, there is really yes. no way to explain any of this. This is actually real. Um, yeah, so Franco TV, he's known. If you want to go check out his channel, he's known for doing paranormal investigations by himself. Uh, he doesn't really, he doesn't stage anything or anything. And sometimes he even goes live and does paranormal investigations and actually catches things. Um, but it, it's a definitely, definitely, this one was something that caught my eye when I first saw this footage. Obviously, the creepiness of the old lady being in there, and obviously the, the yep. cemetery yep. itself already being haunted. Um, so yeah, this was indeed real. There was nothing I can find that was actually fake. And even when he went back, he caught stuff. So, uh, yeah, this one is a creepy one. Definitely real. Rob, you went two for two and nights of horror right. factor fiction. Congratulations, buddy. That's right. Thank you. Um, Thank you. you. Did a pretty good job. Uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. And, uh, I, did. I did. This was very fun. I, I, these videos are creepy. And I was also in, in deep inside me. I was actually thinking that maybe, this was all a setup to give me some kind of jump scare at the end. No, no, and, uh, and uh, I thought that would be pretty funny. It though. would have been funny, but uh, no. <laughs> We're here to try to prove or debunk the paranormal. Not. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Um, but what do you guys think of these videos, man? Leave us some comments down below of what you guys thought of these videos, if you thought any of them were real or fake. If you guys played along, let us know your score down below in the comments. Um, and, and no cheating. <laughs> give us your actual score. No cheating, yes. Um but, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Knights of Horror Factor Fiction. Next week we'll be on with another member of the Knights of Horror.
who, I don't know yet, but uh, we'll, we'll get someone on. Uh, until then, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification be where every time I put up a new video, follow us on social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. Also, um, you know, check out our merch shop. Christmas is right around the corner. If you want to get your loved ones or anything, some Knights of Horror merch, check it out. We highly suggest it. It's very cozy, especially the sweaters. Nice and cozy. Um, even the uh, the masks, even though we have to wear them, they also make your face yes, warm. Yes, so they do. It's also especially during these cold times because California, if you live in California, is starting to get colder again at night. Yeah. Uh, we're moving towards more cool weather, so definitely check that out. Um, but that, other than that, we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Nights of Horror Factor Fiction. <laughs>